I've received. Wow, okay. You know, I, um, I've gotten some very, very interesting fan mail over the years. Um, uh, one that sticks out of my mind is a, is a kid that was in, uh, I forget where, what part of the United States he lived in, but it was a, a, a place that was very rural. And, um, and he said that he didn't have any, uh, he, didn't, he didn't know much about any people that were people of color, any African Americans or, or anything like that. And, and he and his friends would all always get together after school and they would play Power Rangers. And everybody had picked a ranger and he had to be me. And he was not happy about that. He had to be the Black Ranger. He had to be Zach. He said, but once he started, um, once he started kind of getting into it, he started really paying attention to the episodes, and and he noticed my character on the show. He thought that I was always an upstanding guy, and I was always like um, level-headed, and and I was nice to everyone. And and then he started appreciating the the qualities of my character, and. And then he started discovering dance, and they started doing martial arts, and it changed his whole life. And all of a sudden, he he started getting to know people of, of uh, African American descent, and and he said that it made a, a huge difference in his life. And I that stuck out in my brain is like, wow, that really made a difference in somebody's life. So um, that was very cool. That was that was a very cool fan mail I got. Yes. Um, like. Was all the funny poses, was that all Japanese film, or did you get to do any of the crazy, you know, like... The poses, like in the suits. Yeah. Uh, most of that was the Japanese stuff. Um, it's definitely very stylized. So, um, uh, which which they had they had down to a, to a science because they'd done it so many years over there. Um, <clears throat> the American footage, like the only bummer is that we didn't get to see me do much fighting. I, I had a lot of fun doing the fighting, the fighting the parties and stuff. Um, our martial arts, our martial arts outside of the suits was definitely different, like Aikido. You never saw the Black Ranger doing Aikido. He always jumped into straight, you know, fighting, straight martial arts. Um, any other questions? You. Yes. 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 It always represented. We always represented by whatever color we were. We wore, which never gave a, anybody a clue, right? It was like, it's like, hey, you know, there's a pink ranger, black ranger, yellow ranger, a blue ranger, and those guys always wear those colors. Hmm. Ah, forget it. It's just crazy. They're fans, you know. Um, any other questions? Yes. In the back. A any crazy accidents? Uh, yeah, we there were a few things that happened that were unfortunate. There was one episode where we were fighting, um, we were fighting some of the putties, and this actually happened to me. Uh, one of the stuntmen is in a putty suit, and, uh, and we're going through our, our fights, and a lot of times we didn't have a lot of time to put everything together. So it was like, okay, we gotta hurry up and, and knock this out, you know, we're either losing the sunlight, or we gotta hurry up and go from here to there, and, uh, and working with five people as a stunt coordinator, um, I did a lot of my own, my own stunts, and eventually I, I choreographed my own my own fights. But um, there was one point where we were working with a stuntman, and I had to do something and give him a, a, a blow to the stomach uh, as a putty, and he was supposed to react. I was blow to the stomach, a blow to the head, and I did the stomach, and I did the head, and he reacted to the stomach so hard that I broke his nose. <laughs> And he was, and, and the, the crazy thing about it was, he was there on the phone, oh, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> the crazy thing is he's on the, he's on the ground going, oh my God, and they're, and they're like, keep going, keep going. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, oh yeah, um, all right, so anyway, um, <laughs> I think I heard him. Um, and then they finally, they were like, cut. And I was like, okay. I was like, are you okay? And he took the hood off, and his nose was all bloody. And I was like, dude, I'm so sorry. I feel horrible. But it, was, it wasn't just my fault. It was a combination of things. He took the reaction super big. So his face was going towards my hand. <laughs> we connected. <laughs> Not good. Um, otherwise, uh, there were not that many accidents uh, on the set that I can recall. Um, we were always generally pretty safe, and as as time went on, like I said, we used to do a lot of face hits in the beginning. It was like, uh, you know, a lot of kicks to the head and, and punches to the head, and eventually we changed that. It was only uh, below the shoulders. 
Any other questions? Yes. Um, well, the first one is, uh, I don't know what you're saying. Is that why they added the uh, Z to their chest so that you have a set up target before? <laughs> no, that's, that's not the reason why they, they added the Z to the party's chest so we have a better target. Um, it was actually because in the in the show, in the Japanese show, the putties metamorphosed into something different, so then they had the Z costumes. So that's just the way it worked out. Yes? One of the strangest things that's ever happened on set. Mm, well, strangest. Mm. I had an episode. Uh, this is maybe strange to me. Uh, well, oh, oh sorry. Um, I'll tell you this. We had a big earthquake in 93, I think 90, 93, a big huge earthquake in Los Angeles. And, uh, and that morning, the, the, the earthquake happened early in the morning, like six o'clock in the morning. And, and they caught us in the work. And it was like, okay, the freeways are broken, so how do we get there, you know? So we, we finally, all, we all get there to work, probably around one o'clock, because it was pandemonium, pandemonium in Los Angeles. And, and uh, we're supposed to go into the building and the building hadn't been secured yet. I and mean, there's hanging lights everywhere and there's props and everything all over the place. And uh, so we ended up spending probably another three hours outside of the building before they finally told us to go home. I, I just thought that was very odd. That on a day where there was a catastrophe and there was like, you know, the freeways were broken. There were like holes in the freeway and like on the en route to get there that they were still requiring us to come in on the day. Uh, before everything was secure. That was maybe not the, what you wanted, but <laughs> it was a little odd. Okay. Next question. Uh, let's see if we can get some new you. Yes. Uh, what's like the funniest thing? Like any pranks done behind the scenes or? Ah, uh, pranks behind the scenes on the Ranger set. Uh, we, you know what? We definitely always had had weird things that we do, especially. Um, on days like when we were in the command center, so it was a lot of standing around and waiting and looking at nothing that was there. And and so we, as martial artists, um, we were always kind of honing our skills. And, and and so the boys especially, would, we would always throw kicks at each other. So somebody would be talking, and all of a sudden you'd be like, Pum! you'd throw a kick right next to the face, and you're like, yeah, you got me. <laughs> you know. Um, other things we do, just uh, you know, just stupid stuff, just playing with each other, like sticking stuff in people's ears, wet willies, and kicking the back of somebody's heel if they're walking. If they're walking, they're like, oh. hey, hey. So just playful stuff like that were pranks that we did. Um, one of the pranks that I pulled on um, on the, on the company was I am um, I'm missing a I'm missing a finger on my middle hand on my left hand my left hand I have a missing finger and it's always been there it's always been gone so um, on the show uh, there was a certain episode where they, they there was a mannequin they were using for a prop or something and then, uh, they had painted the mannequin black um, or brown and they one of the costume people took the finger, the middle finger off the mannequin and gave it to me. So I was holding the finger between my fingers like this. So we're doing something and I think I had the morpher. I was about to morph and I'm like, okay, it's morph time and I do it and I, and I do it and I'm like, it's morph time. And um, the wardrobe person goes, oh, sorry, cut, can we cut for a second? Um, and there's something, I gotta fix something. She comes over and she grabs the finger and she walks away. She's like, okay, we're ready now. <laughs> So it was, it was, I was in on a joke. I did it with her, but it was pretty funny. Everybody, everybody got a big crack up over that one. Um, but uh, that was that was one of the funny pranks we did. Any other questions? Yes. I always wondered how much foreknowledge you guys had of the Japanese show, like as time went on. How much knowledge we have the Japan had of the Japanese show as time went on? Uh, we.